Um, you must be really happy with that win. I feel like Momentum was amazing for you out the front. She was. Um, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It was a, a tough, hard match from start to finish and I was really happy with the way that we worked um, through our game right to the end. And MJ, amazing in the circle there, but you know, with Caitlin out the front at goal attack and, and the, the work that we did out the front was, um, was instrumental in getting the ball to her. Um, what sort of went on there? It was just just a little. She just tweaked her, an, her ankle, yeah. and it was just giving her the time. It was nothing like a stinger, as she called it. But um, but I actually thought that Taylor came on and did came on really well and did did some great stuff out there on court. I've really noticed you've sort of, and we've talked about this before, really just spreading that feeding load. Is that sort of the key, Spre- spreading the, the feeding load between uh, weights and playing and going in that circle? Is that sort of a key? I think it's important that we have that variation and not being predictable in what we do and I think we're certainly improved in our ability to hit that circle, any of them, and be putting that ball in and certainly Caitlin has a great high release to put that ball into um, MJ as well. Um, you dominated the game stats, I think it was 11 to 4. Was really, it? Yeah, you must have been really pleased with um, <laughs> Weston um, and uh, Dehaney. I, I was really I was pleased because last game against Fever I thought we didn't contest the ball so we certainly had an objective coming out of that game that we wanted to be yes do the hard work the dictating the holding up and the hands over but be having a crack at the ball and I thought we did that much better today. Um, you've sort of got a weird um, run to the rest of the season and leading into finals. Obviously you've got Collingwood next week. Are they sort of a dangerous team in the fact that they have talent and they can sort of just place you up to a final. They have. Oh, well, we just spoke about it then in our, in our debrief from this game. It's like, right, oh, Magpies on the weekend. And they are... Obviously, there's a rivalry there that brings out the best in both teams. So, And they would love nothing more than to be beating the Vixens. And, um, but, you know, so it's going to be a big job for us. We've got a few of our members asking about uh, M Mannix and where she's at with her oh. injury. She's M's. Um, I'm just thinking, what is it with them? Oh, yes, no, it was her calf. <laughs> um, M's, she's going really well, and you know what? It was a tough call, fine line, and uh, about her being available today or not, but the, the decision was made it's not worth risking, and we've got a, still got a, quite a fair bit of netball ahead of us. So um, just playing it safe, giving her the extra days to get that right, and she tried hard, though. She tried hard to talk the physio, and I'm like, it doesn't work that way, Em. Um, but, but she's smart enough to know that um, we've got to look after, and we've got capable players in the squad that can, that can come into the 12. So, MJ, how do you feel today? I feel great. Um, it's good to get a win, always. Um, and because last week we are very disappointed, uh, we get a loss. We get uh, sorry, we get a draw. So we are very disappointed. And to get because we know that this is a tough game, we just need to play hard when we get in the court. So to beat the Swift second time this season, uh, how do you feel about that? Yeah, I feel good, but we're still more pushing uh, because last year we beat us twice. Is it three times? I can't remember yet. Uh, so. It's always when you're playing against with it's always tough battle there. So everyone, I'm just proud of my teammate, how they play today. It was tough and rough. Has it been probably the toughest game we've had this season? I think, yes, yeah, it's the toughest game always when we play against them. We work very hard and just playing against Sarah, you just need to bring everything in the court. But I was very proud of my teammates today. And you won the Nissan MVP. Have you won that one before? Uh, that was... Two years ago, when I was when I, two years ago when when I was two years ago when I was in the court before I did my knee. Yes, uh, like uh, today, the way the girls played, and you know, I get MVP. So very proud of myself and very proud of my girls. Yeah, it's good reward for you having done your knee and worked really hard to get back, and then you've been playing so well this season. Very good reward. Yes, very good. And the, all the support I get from my Vixen's family is just huge for me. And I don't know how to thank them because we've been working hard the whole season. And so, yeah, the whole like off season, we have been working hard and I'm very proud of myself today. Excellent. And how are you finding Queensland life? It's a little bit different to 
Malawi to Melbourne, <laughs> up to here to Queensland. How are you feeling? Uh, we are loving it because it's home, but we always miss home. You know, we always get the support from home, like Melbourne. But yeah, we love it here, and um, we're just doing our best. We know that um, hopefully, hopefully, soon we'll be fine in Melbourne. Everything will be all right. Excellent. And do you have anything to say to your, your supporters and your family back home in Melbourne? Yes, yeah, just... Um, oh, sorry. Yes, I've got uh, a lot to say. Just like, um, please do keep safe. And yeah, we are there for you. You can just wash every time. Hopefully soon we'll be there in Melbourne. We love you. Beautiful.